All right, so six days of uh, camp in the books now. You know, what are some of the, the kind of big things that jump out to you about today, what you've seen from your backers? Uh, there's a lot of competition. You know, you've seen the growth in the guys that, that were here last year, uh, and Caleb and, and Tate. KVON's had a real good camp crew's doing good things. And then obviously, guys, we've added, you don't feel more comfortable having a summer to learn things. So there's a ton of co competition right now, and they're really pushing each other. Yeah, speaking of you know, a guy like Keyshawn Elliott, it just seems to be no matter what, the package is kind of a struggling. He's out there making plays sideline to sideline. Uh, where have you seen the kind of the, the uh, you know strides from spring to now for him? You know, they say confidence sounds different. You see it, you hear a guy out there commanding the defense, closing things, getting us into the right checks, encouraging guys. You, you just see a more confident football player, and that's what we hope to continue to see. Obviously, you know, wearing that that, that the green dot on on the helmet. Mm -hmm. You know, how's that uh, that that transition kind of going? Heck, I think the players are handling <laughs> better than the coaches. No, it's uh, it's been good. You know, I think we're all learning kind of the ins and outs of it. The, the, the key words are the things we can say to the guys to help them play a little bit faster. I mean, linebackers love it. You, you're giving them extra information, and they you now I think we're learning to communicate better because of it. Caleb McCullough is a guy who's been around this program for a while, but it seems like he's you know, continuing to make plays. Uh, where have you seen him, and uh, how does he factor into the, this competition? Man, he just he's steady, he's consistent, he does it plus. You can count on him when you're out there. Uh, he's become a better leader. Like it's Those are fun guys to watch. They're just Coach Connolly mentioned the other day when we were talking about his frame over the years, and he just – Every session he gets better at something, you know what I mean? And it's credit to him that he keeps coming back to work and he keeps coming back to compete and the results are showing up. What does it mean to have a guy like that, a veteran, you know, not just a, of the college game, but, you know, of Arizona State with so like, pretty much I think everybody else is in there. Uh, kind of yeah, business. like he's been around through a lot of things, you know, good and bad. And I think that's given a lot of perspective. I think that's a get him, give him a lot of appreciation, if that makes sense. And I love how that kind of rubs off in the rest of the room. Over the next few weeks of fall camp, what do you want to see from your backers and you know, make sure that uh, they're ready for the opener? Well, you know, the, the number one stuff is, is going to be when we get into the live scrimmages. You know what I mean? Some of this tag and thud stuff's great, but who can continue to make those plays when we have to tackle the Carlos, when we have to tackle Scad, or when we have to cover a tight end in a live situation? So who can continue to grow and do it live? Who continue to grow in our scheme, you know, at one position or the other? Going up to Camp T, obviously going to be roughing it for the coaches as well yeah. as the players. What kind of like adjustments from the coaching side? You know, obviously you don't have necessarily the facilities at your disposal yeah, as yeah. you do it down here. Uh, you know, outside of not having AC, it's I mean we we all we, it's football all day every day anyways. You know what I mean? So I guess outside of seeing your wife and kids at night, it's you're just in a cooler place environment wise. And, Environment wise, um, but other than that, I, I like it. I enjoy it, man. You get to walk down the river, you get to see the pine trees in the morning. Like, I think it gives the guys a little bit of energy and pep in their step and changes it up. And obviously, with the history of Camp T, like, that's a match when you get to talk about some of those things, especially with, with some of our alumni.